Welcome to the new skills video for Cavalier. Hope you guys enjoy the video and hope it helps you guys out to see if you guys want to play Cavalier. So without further ado, let's get into the basics. Lance and Shield has some pretty interesting debuffs that you guys are going to probably really enjoy for PvP. The first and second attack only hit once, while the last attack hits three times. The first part of our basic is called Thrust, and Thrust decreases the target's SP and it increases your attack speed for 6 seconds. The second part of our basic is called Backhanded Blow. Backhanded Blow decreases the target's SP and for each successful hit, it decreases your cooldown for the skill Shield Block by 1 second and it increases your movement speed by 12% and greatly increases your attack speed for 8 seconds. The third part of our basic is called Circle Slaughter. And Circle Slaughter decreases the target's SP and also inflicts a death notice effect while having a high chance of taunting the enemy. Our defensive skill is called Shield Block. And Shield Block decreases the damage taken by 45%. And after each successful block, it decreases the cooldown for spinning kick by 1%. This skill is constantly held down for it to continue on, but it decreases your SP as it continues. This skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. Our next skill is called Killing Spree, and this skill decreases SP as you hold it down, and it causes bonus damage by 60% if an uh, enemy has Death Notice on it. This skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. Our next skill is Spinning Kick, and Spinning Kick pretty much dashes to your opponent while spinning onto your lance. This does not carry any of your opponent, but it does phase through them. This skill decreases the target's attack by 5%, and that lasts for 4 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. One little side note is, if you hit a wall, Spinning Kick will automatically cancel itself out. Our next skill is called Demon Claw. Demon Claw pulls your target to you, dealing extra damage. Not only that, it decreases your target's movement speed by 30%, and any target recently hit by this skill can't be pulled a second time until Demon Claw's effect wears off. The skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. Our next skill is called Death Ray, and Death Ray inflicts a death effect that lasts for 8 seconds. Now this skill is very far range and good for engaging the opponents. And this skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. Our next skill is called Angel's Fall. And Angel Falls is a leap to target skill and dealing extra damage if an opponent has death status on it. I do want you guys to be careful when using this skill if you're a controller player and you don't like to lock on to opponents because this skill likes to take a running start before actually leaping so there's a slight delay in it. For controller players, I guarantee you guys want to lock on to your opponent if you're aiming to successfully hit them. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. Our final skill for Lance is called Devastating Dash, and Devastating Dash does not have any buffs or debuffs to it, but you can move while it's charging up. And once it's done charging, you do a full sprint forward. This skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. Well guys, that does it for our lance and shield part of the video. Now we're going to move on to our sword and shield part of the video and show you guys the skills for that. And we're going to be wrapping this video up. Without further ado, let's get into the basics. Now do remember that the basics for sword and shield are actually pretty slow. Slower than the lance because the lance gives bonus attack speed for each normal attack as the sword and shield does not. The first part of our basic is called Longitution Laceration and it gives a high chance of taunting damage enemy. This skill took me a while to pronounce. The next part of our basic is Profound Puncture. Profound Puncture has a high chance of taunting the enemy and gives an effect called Black Spot. Black Spot is causing enemies to be more successful to your Sword and Shield skills. 
The third part of our basic is called Roundhouse Ravager. Roundhouse Ravager is sets the cooldown for kinetic wave and also slows your target down for 30% and that lasts for 6 seconds. Our first skill is called Kinetic Wave, and Kinetic Wave restores 100 SP for each target it hits, and it costs 270 SP to use. The cooldown is 8 seconds. Our next skill is called Divine Sword, and Divine Sword deals additional damage to those who already have Death Notice onto them. This skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. Our next skill is called Shield Swipe, and Shield Swipe is an AoE attack that restores 100 SP for each target it hits. This skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. Our defensive skill is called Sacred Protection. Sacred Protection decreases the damage taken by 45% and gives you immunity to stuns. While generating shields over your allies within your party, which allows them to take less damage by 20%. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. Our next skill is Judgment. Judgment does not have any buffs or debuffs to it, but it goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Our next skill is called Bear Hug. Bear Hug is really different from Demon Claw. Demon Claw pulls in one target, why? Bear Hug pulls in the surrounding target. Not only does Bear Hug pulls in surrounding target, it decreases their movement speed by 25% and plus it costs 420 SP. And like Demon Claw, you cannot pull in enemies again until the effect wears off. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. Our final skill is called Hollowed Sanction. And Hollow Sanction gives a buff of decreasing damage taken by 75%, but it costs 550 SP. This skill goes on cooldown for 14 seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and seeing if you guys really want to use Cavalier or not, it's a really good class. It's actually very impressive, but it has its downfalls and shortcomings, and it's a little bit more advanced to learn. But I'm pretty sure you guys can get used to it. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next Dragonmon video. Peace out and happy hunting. Yay.